Hi and welcome to a new episode on my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the uh, Racer Star S Proc X motors for uh, your race quads or your freestyle quads. I'm just gonna go through the specs, give you some ups and downs of the motors, and I'm also do a comparison to older uh, Racer Star motors so you can see what changed you know, on the new generation of Racer Star motors. First of all, let's have a look what you get. It's always a set of five motors. Two motors are with silver nut, which means they are uh, clockwise threads. And you get three motors with black nut, which means these are counterclockwise threads. And it's very important that you can only get a set of five there is no way to order two or a single motor or whatever they are unfortunately only available as a set of five but these are pretty cheap motors so you can get them at around 45 to 50 dollars a set of five so it's a motor between nine and ten dollars each so i think this is okay there are also two sets of screws included in this set of five motors you get 24 screws of 7.5 millimeter uh, M3 screws and 24 pieces of 10 millimeter M3 screws. So you have plenty of screws with these motors. Then let's compare the motor with an older Racer Star motor, the BR2306S. There are a few important changes in my opinion which makes the new motor way more attractive than the older Racer Star motors. First of all and the most important change they did is they put longer cables on their motor. As you can see the difference is massive and if you use 4-in-1 ESCs with the older Racer Star motors you always had to extend the cables um, otherwise you have no way to install your motor with the cables which are included in the motor on the newer motors you have around 12 centimeters of cable which makes it possible to install these motors on a four-in-one setup as i can show you here here we have the motor then we go to the four-in-one esc and you can see there is plenty of cable to solder the cable which comes with the motor directly to your 4-in-1 ESC. Another important improvement in comparison to the older Racer Star motors are the clips to fix the motor shaft. The older motors have C-clips which bend extremely easy if you take them off the shaft. Perhaps in case of a crash on dirty ground, you have to take apart the motor and clean it and reassemble it. And if you take off a C-clip, you almost every time have to replace it. And the E-clip, like you can see it here on the new Racer Star motor, this E-clip is super easy to remove. So if you have dirt in your motor, just take it off open your motor, clean it and put it back together, put the e-clip back on and you're good to go. Then let me explain the reason why it makes sense to have clockwise and counterclockwise threads. The reason is pretty simple. If you hit an obstacle with your prop, if you have all motors with clockwise uh, threads, it is possible that uh, two of these four motors can get loose nuts and your prop can spin freely. There is no more connection to the motor and it's difficult to bring the quad back with a loose prop or perhaps you can even crash. So I really like the solution with clockwise and counterclockwise motors. So this solution uh, avoids to crash in case of loose props after hitting an obstacle. The screw holes on the bottom side are 3mm screw holes like on every uh, motor for 5 inch uh, quads 
and you have the regular distances of 16 millimeters and the other side of around 19 millimeters which fit every 5 inch quad or 6 inch quad or even 7 inch quads. The first impression of the bearings is pretty good. All five motors run extremely smooth and there is no play at all in any direction. That looks good so we will see after some flights if the bearings are still okay or not but the uh, first impression out of the box is that uh, Racer Star also have at least the same quality or even better quality bearings in the new motors in comparison to the older motors. The reason why I chose this size, the 2205 with 2300 kV is that I almost always fly cinematic stuff so there is no need for maximum thrust and RPM or kV uh, on these motors it's more important to have nice flight time or increased flight time so I go down from 2600 kV to 2300 kV and from 2206 to 2205 just to increase my flight time last but not least let's check the weight it's exactly 33 grams so nothing special no surprise for this size of motor it's a regular weight what makes it a bit heavier than other motors is the cable size. These are uh, 18 gauge like I can read here and uh, most other motors have uh, 20 or even 22 gauge cables. So it would be possible to reduce the weight a bit within the cables but that's okay and I really like these motors. So this is already the first look, first impressions of the Racer Star S Proc X motors. I hope you liked the video, have a good time, happy flying, bye bye.